we have a very exciting announcement. We moved out of our school bus and into a van. On the other side of the world. I'm Raya. And I'm Louie. And we spent the first three years of our relationship traveling the world full time. And now we have embarked on our greatest adventure yet. We moved into a converted school bus and are planning to do one last epic tour of the US before we drive all the way down to our land in an eco community in Costa Rica. Subscribe to follow our adventure. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming and joining us on this adventure. We have paused our trip in the school bus down to Costa Rica and we've flown back to the UK where all my family are. I haven't seen them in like a year and a half so we've been catching up with them, catching up with friends but also we have bought a van mm -hmm. to travel around Europe and have an amazing road trip. Honestly we were just loving living in a vehicle and Louis' family and a lot of our friends are here in the UK. A lot of my family is still in Bulgaria so the plan right now is to road trip from London all the way to Bulgaria. We're gonna go via Italy, we're gonna try and hit as many countries wiggling the way through as we can mm. and this is the first time we've road tripped around Europe together and it's just gonna be so amazing. Mm. France, Italy, Croatia, oh my gosh. I've missed Europe so much and I cannot wait for this road trip. So we're gonna give you a little tour of what the van looks like right now. We bought it ready converted but the hope was for this video we would have already added some new bits and changed some things up but that's gonna take some time so we'll show you its current state. Do you wanna give us a little tour? There's quite a lot that we want to change to it. First of all, it was actually an ambulance before and you can still see like all over the signs that are left over. The one sign that was added, we're gonna take off. This isn't really our vibe, I would say. No, that can come off. Yeah, but you ready to see inside? Welcome to our new home. It's so funny because the last video we did was where we swapped and lived in a van for 24 hours and at the end we said that we would choose a school bus over a van but in Europe a van is definitely the way to go because as we're going into Italy and stuff all the like tiny little streets there's no way a 50 foot school bus would have fit there so this is just perfect. Do you want to show us all the things? First up we've got our kitchen and our tiny tiny fridge. I know we joked about this being in Karen Nate's van but I get it you can't really fit a bigger fridge. We've tried. We have tried to order a bigger one. It doesn't fit but we have a nice little sink with water tanks underneath, a fresh water and gray water tank. And then we've got a nice little hob here. This is gonna be all storage. We have not bought anything yet, but we've got a cute little spice rack and yeah, I'm really excited to shop and make it our own really. We're gonna, we're gonna change quite a few things. This, wait to see what we picked out for back here. Our favorite part of this van is this pull out table which means we can leave the bed, like I can be sleeping in the mornings, Ryan can go to bed early and the other person can be editing or hanging out here and we don't have to like pack away the bed to have a table, which this is one of the best layouts we've seen in any van. We actually prefer this, even though it's a smaller van, we actually prefer this to the layout in Kara and Nate's van. Yeah, I feel like our main cons that we experienced living there were was this, that we had to put the table down to be able to sleep, and also the kitchen layout. I way prefer like having a lot of open floor space, so while I'm chopping and cooking and stuff, it just doesn't feel cramped in here. We obviously don't have a bathroom, a toilet, or shower, although we do technically have a toilet. And a shower. Under here. Oh yeah, in the shower we can hang up back there, so we're gonna figure that out as we go, but yeah. It's so nice. We slept in here one night already. It feels so good. I'm so, so glad that we got this. The other problem, which hasn't been too much of a problem because I sleep in a bit of a fetal position, but this bed is actually only five foot six long and I'm six foot five. Yeah. So <laughs> this, I have to sleep diagonally to be able to sleep in here. Or yeah. I just have to sleep in my fetal position. Which kind of works out. Yeah, kind of works out. So the plan is, once we set off on our road trip into Europe, there's gonna be so many amazing things we're doing and seeing. We're gonna try and upload at least three times a week on this channel. We might even try filming daily, but uploading every other day, or we'll see. But it's just, 
being in Europe, that's one of the best things about it, that within like a day or two you're in a completely different country, different language, culture, everything. So it just feels like we have to film a lot more often because there's just so much to capture. Also, before we go to visit Raya's family in Bulgaria, we're going via Positano in Italy to our friend's wedding, which again is going to be unbelievable. This whole last couple of years when we haven't been able to travel, it's been this part of the world that I've been missing most. Southern Europe, summer as well is just this is one of my favorite places in the whole world. Italy is my favorite country in the whole world and I'm so excited to share it with you. So before we go, we're gonna upgrade the van, add all of our own touches and do a full tour. You've had a kind of a little mini tour, but we'll do a full tour of everything. Mm -hmm. And also I think once we've lived in it for a couple of weeks, we can yeah. give you a bit of a lowdown on our pros and cons. But if any of you have done van life through Europe or even road trips or just live around Europe, let us know where should we stop along the way from London to Bulgaria. The thing that I'm most looking forward to on the road trip is parking up on the coast and being able to open these doors in the morning and just have a view of the ocean. The Mediterranean. The Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> yeah. We've just realized something. These doors can open up all the way as well. Check it. I did not know they did that. Yes! <laughs> Those are my favorite things about Karen Nathan. Balloon. Dave got us this balloon. <laughs> Happy engagement. Thanks, Dave. I wanted to save it so we could suck in helium and be like, hey. And then one last thing, because this was an ambulance, we still have these reflective stripes on the back, which in one hand we feel might be good because it kind of helps us be more incognito. It almost looks like a worker van or something when we're parked places, but it doesn't look cool. So I don't know. We really don't know if we should take these off or not. Let us know. Vote in the comments down below. So we are jumping in the front now and we're gonna go on a mini road trip to go and visit our friend Charlie. Now the front of the van's probably in the worst condition right now because I've been pulling it all apart to try and install a sound system which I currently haven't been able to do yet. But we have a lot of wires. A lot of these are like redundant because of the ambulance but I'm trying to get the stereo in here. It was set up down there. I put a sub in for sound because we need good sound on the road, don't that we? That was the first thing. We tested that sound system, we're like, oh no. I think it might have been the worst sound system ever. So yeah. hopefully we'll be upgraded soon. Yeah, these are the new speakers I put in, which we need to screw in. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a while just to get this whole front section sorted. But you know, just part. that's part of the fun. Let's go. We're in England now, driver's side this side. By the way, we actually bought this van <laughs> through Zoom. One of our friends helped us like figure out getting it. But we bought it a couple weeks before we met up with Karen Nate. So it's just total luck that the couple of things that were in our favorite about their van are different in this van. So mm. yeah, it just worked out perfectly. And like we kept saying in our last video, it just feels so good that we both have seats in the front that we can talk, that we have seat belts, air conditioning, all that good stuff. <laughs> and also having a van on this side of the ocean makes so much sense for us because like we said, both of our families are over here and we'll be coming here at least once a year every year. So this is like our home on this side of the world. How do you feel being back in England? You know what's crazy is I haven't been here since December 2019. Obviously the pandemic and stuff stopped me. But in some ways it felt like I hadn't been here forever. And in other ways I like arrived back and I'm like, oh wow, I'm at home again. I really appreciate the things in the UK that maybe I didn't before because I've been away for so long. And one of those is just how lush and green it is. Even though it's rainy, it's so green and I love it. We just pulled over because we spotted on the side of the road someone selling strawberries, cherries, plums, raspberries. So I think Raya's gonna grab a punnet of strawberries. Oh yeah. What did you get? I got strawberries. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Let me get one of them. So fresh. Mmm. We are so excited to bring you on this adventure around Europe. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the upcoming vlogs. 
Next week, we'll be filming a Q&A. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. See you next time.